Hey guys, Black Rose Duelist here with Boo Bear. It's my dog. He does not he's not camera friendly. Say hi. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, today we have a new deck. We have Burgers. Bur burgers. Burgers. Arm burgers. I don't know. I don't know what. It's just. I'm making a video. Burgers, comma. Please shut up. Okay, burgers, comma. That's how you say it. I love burgers. So burgers, comma. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, I'm actually kind of here now. I've had to re-record this three times, but I left the first random minute here just because, you know, when you sign up to subscribe to Black Rose Duelist, which you do right now, you're not just watching a typical, oh, these are the Yu-Gi-Oh cards I play. I play three copies of this, two copies of that. Um... No, you can just copy the deck list right now. If you're on here, I'm going to give you a show and entertain you because that's what YouTube is made for. Not just night decking, it's entertainment. So I'm going to give you entertainment. Um, Yes, that was my six-year-old cousin farting. And yes, that was my little dog farting and also crying. He did go diarrhea afterwards. Um, but that's none of your business. This video has been filmed over the last five hours, although it does not seem like it. Um, so let's just jump into the meat and potatoes of the deck. Three diarrhea, um, also known as Dianea. It just looked at, you know, my mind. Um, I, this deck is full of traps, and I just wanted a few monsters in it just to get some beef in there. Um, so Dianea and Mermillo, they do get, um, trap cards, which overall helps the deck. And they're just there for being down your opponent because you're not going to beat them down with 1200 attack. So if you don't know what the burger deck is, or Burgus Toma, whichever, I'm going to call it burger. Um, the burger deck, um, they all have standard trap effects, and then when you activate a trap and it's in your graveyard, you can summon it as a monster, and then when it's removed from the field, you banish it. So, activate a trap effect. Later when you play another trap, you summon them. Uh, they're all level 2s, they're all 1200 attack, and they're all waters, and they're all aquas, and you can't see someone with them. So I just play uh, two abyss stungray and two statue. It's kind of like, like playing more uh, traps ba or monsters, basically. They're just standard good trap monsters. I just want to throw in there. Uh, one bombless, two break to skill, three brigastoma, uh, Canadia, Canadia, not Canada. Uh, target one face up monster. Your opponent controls, uh, put it face down, defense, so basically a book of moon. And then, of course, when it dies and you play a trap, it comes back to life as a monster. Uh, Hallucigenia, you can target one monster, uh, face of monster, its attack becomes half until the end of the turn. One Olenoids, uh, it's an OST. And uh, Pikea, uh, you discard a Burgish Toma card, draw two cards, so it's a plus one. Um, so yeah, and, uh, like I said, whenever you play a trap and they're in your graveyard, they come back to life as monsters. Um, and your traps are basically your monsters in the deck, so that's why you have to have lots of traps in the deck, obviously. One Gambulse, three Phoenix Chain, three Mirror Force, one Ring of Destruction, one Solemn Morning, one Storm Mirror Force, one Time Space Trap Bolt, one Torrential, two Trap tri trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmare, and one Void Trap Bolt. So, you really do need the traps because that's how you get them out as monsters, is by activating trap cards. So, you really do need all of these traps. Uh, for the extra deck, uh, just add in random rank 2s and 4s uh, like Chain Elf and Utopia. And of course, the XC, um, he has two really good effects. You do need three or more level 2 monsters, which are your trap monsters. Once a turn, if a trap card uh, is sent from your spell or trap card zone to the graveyard. You can actually the top card of your deck if it's a trap at your hand. Um, you have 34 traps and six monsters. That's like 75, 80 percent of your deck is traps. So you're most likely going to get a trap off of it. 
Once per turn during their player's turn, if this card is a trap card as an XC material, which you're always going to have, you can detach one XC material from this card, destroy one card, destroy a card on the field. Uh, target, by the way. So, the deck is really cool. Um, if you are interested in trap monsters, like I kind of am, I definitely try to start deck out. I really like that one um, snake guy, the one that's a trap. I always like trap monsters. I think they're really cool. And this is the first time you can actually play them and do well. Um, they all have their own mon trap effects, and then when they die, you can bring them back as monsters. So, you get two and one, a monster and a trap. Essentially, that's already a plus one. So, there you go. Please like, comment, subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. It means a lot. Um, like I said, I want to bring a show for you, not... Hey, this is a deck. Play a few traps. Play trap tricks. No, I'm going to make you laugh. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe later.